Hello, Mom. It's been ages since we last talked. How are you surviving your pitiful existence? Oh, but I guess that's a silly question to ask, isn't it? <laughs> I know very well that you're living a miserable and hopeless life now and have no reason to smile or laugh, so you must be in a terrible state. You are broke and unemployed now, right? And that's why you had to be kicked out of our beautiful home like a piece of trash. Luciana, I am shocked to hear from you after such a long time of silence. Ever since I had to divorce your father, you never showed any interest or affection for me. You never even bothered to contact me once. <laughs> well, I have some news to share with you today, so that's why I decided to bless you with my text. I'm sure that Dad hasn't told you anything, has he? You have some news to share with me? Yes, Mother. Dad is going to get married again. And of course, this time, the woman he's going to marry is a gorgeous and amazing person. She is the heiress of some huge corporation CEO. Dad and I are about to join her rich and powerful family and enjoy a lavish lifestyle. Hmm, that is very nice to hear. Please send my congratulations to your dad. Sure, I will let him know that this is your breaking your heart to hear that his life is so much better without you. What? I'm sorry, Mom. Only Dad and I are going to experience true happiness. But we can only achieve this happiness because of you letting Dad throw you out of the house. Thank you for leaving, Mom. <laughs> he left the house without any fight and never even tried to stand up for yourself. Now that we don't have to worry about you, Dad and I can start a new life in a very wealthy family. I can see that. But you don't have to thank me. Considering you planned all this yourself, the only reason I was thrown out of the house and forced to divorce your dad was all because of you, Luciana. Well, Dad loves me so much, and it makes me happy. He never even guessed that I was the one who ruined your cooking, making him think you were useless at making food. And he never noticed that I was ironing his clothes instead of you and making them even more wrinkled. He never questioned me and never believed what you said, which led you to being exiled. I really did my best to tell him that you were behind all of that, but he just told me to stop lying and never listened. You even deleted all the data on his computer and blamed it on me? When he heard that from you, he told me he had no need for such a horrible wife and threw me out, without even giving me a chance to speak. I have never forgotten that day. And just as I had planned, Dad threw you out and divorced you and now is able to marry a much better woman, a CEO's daughter, and make my life perfect. This is all going exactly as I wanted. I'm laughing so hard right now that I might pee myself. I wonder if you could call me a genius for creating and executing such a brilliant plan. What do you mean this is all going as planned? Are you telling me that you planned for your dad to marry a CEO's daughter? I just made sure to create a situation that made it easier for Dad to find someone to get married to. Apparently, at work every Valentine's Day, he would receive chocolate from one of his co-workers. But he didn't really like sweets, right? So I figured this out and told her that she needed to give him something less sweet to let get his attention. So this last Valentine's Day, she did as I suggested, and now she's golden. And this woman is the one who will become your dad's new wife? That's right. Actually, she's not just a co-worker, but the client of the firm he works for. And I found out that she's actually the daughter of a CEO, but she's also working with Dad on some projects, so he thinks she's a rising star. That's why I think Dad fell for her so fast after she gave him something he really liked on Valentine's Day, and they are madly in love now. And so all of this happened according to your plan? It took me a lot of skill and cleverness to pull this off, but now, Dad is with her, they will be married in no time. I thought Dad would bring her to our house and make her and my new mom to do all the work and cook for us, but finding out that she's from a rich family makes me even happier now. She's going to love me so much as her new daughter, and she's sure to see my worth. I'm sorry, Luciana, but as your real mother, I can tell you there is no worth in having someone like you around. And there you have it, Mom. You've learned everything about how your daughter is going to have a new beautiful and wealthy mother at home. Now, I'm done.
If you have anything to say to me, go ahead, okay? But I doubt you have anything interesting to say to me about yourself. You used to be the housewife here, but after being kicked out and divorced, I'm sure you can find any job and have nothing. All you do is live in a dirty hut somewhere begging people for their money, right? How could you? Well, I hope you find some luck that will help you become something more than this, okay? You probably won't hear from me ever again. Now, since Dad and I will become rich new family members to someone else. Excuse me, Jaden. I have something I want to ask you about. Do you ever talk to anyone from your old family? Well, not really with anyone important to me. Why? What's going on? It's rare for you to ever ask me about my old family. Well, I just happened to check our mailbox at home. And inside it, there's an invitation to a wedding for someone. The invitation is for you. But it seems that it's actually for the wedding of your ex-husband. What? I got an invitation from him? I wonder if your daughter was the one who sent this to you. And there's a small note on the invitation as well, demanding that you come, no matter what, to the wedding. So it was probably from her. I'm only a high schooler, but I know that you should only invite people that you love to your wedding, like family and close friends. So it's weird that she'd send you an invitation to your ex-husband's wedding. I mean, you never seem to care about your old family, so why would she think that it's okay to invite you? Actually, you always seem to hate them for what they did to you, right? Well, you are right to say that, as I do hate them so much that I don't want anything to do with them anymore. I'm sure she only sent that invitation as a way of mocking me or something. When I talked to her a while ago, she told me her dad is getting married again. And apparently the woman he's marrying this time has a lot of money. So, my daughter wanted to rub that in my face. What kind of stupid reason is that for all this? Then you won't mind me just throwing this invitation in the trash for you, right? You're not planning on going to the wedding, right? Yeah, go ahead and trash it. That'd make me very happy. I'm sorry, though, that you had to see an invitation like that. You don't have to worry about it. After seeing who it was from, I figured it was all meant as a way of making you feel even worse about the past. So that's why I decided to ask you about it today. I'm glad you won't have to see the stupid thing in person. That I can take care of it for you. Rohan... You are such a sweet young man. Hearing things like that from my son really makes me feel so warm inside. Come on now. This is the kind of thing any son should say to their mom. I think it's pretty messed up that someone would want to keep bothering you like that, even after all this time. Honestly, your daughter is a real piece of work. I never expected that someone like her in elementary school would be able to act in such a horrible way already. Huh? Did I not tell you anything about her age yet? She's actually going into high school now. She's not in elementary school anymore, although, based on how she behaves, I can see why you might have thought that. Wait, are you serious? Her handwriting, it's awful for someone in high school. Seeing that, I just assumed she was only in, like, second grade or something like that. And while I was still her mother, I knew something was wrong with her handwriting. How bad it is. But I can never help her improve it, because my whole time raising her, she'd bully me and never listen. Because my being a housewife was some kind of sin in the family. I wanted her to practice writing with me, but she never listened. I guess I just hoped that as she got older, her handwriting would get better. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Really? It sounds like you had a hard time with that family, then. But because of that... I'm able to really live a much happier life with you guys as my new family. Well, Rohan, I'm pretty much done with my shopping for the day and will be on the way home. Then I'll get started on preparing dinner for us tonight. I'll be in my room then, getting some homework done. I really hope you're making Chinese food for us tonight. I can do that. I'll make sure to make up some really good fried rice for you tonight with those dumplings that you love. Hello, I went through all the trouble of sending you an invitation to the wedding. And you're just going to ignore it? If you didn't want to come, you could have told me that then. Oh, 
I'm so sorry. I just happened to toss that invitation into the garbage and completely forgot about it. What? You got an invitation from the daughter you love so much and you threw it away? What are you doing, Mom? I know you're jealous that Dad married a woman much better than you. But you can just snob me because of it. I'm not jealous of anything. So you can calm down there. I don't really care about your dad getting married again, actually. Say whatever you want. I know deep down you're dying to have someone come and love you the way Dad used to. I bet you were really hoping Dad would come back for you and make you his housewife again, right? But that's too bad, Mom. Dad married a CEO's daughter. He would never want to marry someone as disgusting as you again. So you can get lost now, knowing that you'll always be alone. But I'm already married to a new man, so you really don't have to bother me with your nonsense, okay? Let's all just go our separate ways and focus on the new families we have. Huh? Wait a minute, Mom. You married a new man? You were kicked out of the house and divorced as a housewife. So there's no point in having you in anyone's life anymore, right? What kind of idiot decided it would be a good idea to marry you? You're being rude, Luciana. My husband is a very wonderful man. He has a lot of pride in himself as a doctor, and he feels responsible for me as his wife, and wants to make sure that I'm always well. He might be a bit strict around other people, but to me, he's always a very kind-hearted man. He loves me with all his heart, and I do the same for him. Liar! You expect me to believe that the man you married is a doctor? If that's really true, then he's making a lot of money, right? How many times more is he earning a year than Dad? Please, don't ask me such impolite questions like that. You have nothing to do with him and his work. I see. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about you and your life anymore either. I am the daughter of someone who is part of a very rich family now, and I don't need you. I don't even care about your husband's money. That's not what it looks like to me. You seem to care a lot more about me and my new husband, even though I don't want to hear anything about any of you guys anymore. Hey mom, next time, do you want me to come and visit you? You haven't seen me since the divorce a long time ago. So, I think it would be nice to let my mom see her daughter again. You want to see me, right? What? Why are you changing the subject so suddenly? <laughs> I don't really think there's anything for me to see my lowlife mother anymore. But I'm going to be generous and give you one more chance to see me in person like you've been longing to do. I want to hear from you in person how you got a doctor as a husband. And if that's even true, this will be such a fun and educational experience for both of us. Huh? I'm starting to think that in the future, I want to marry a doctor myself. And from what I've heard, people that study medicine are very tough nuts to crack. So, I'd like to learn from you how you've made a guy like him love you. If you have been telling me the truth, you're going to want to tell me about it, right? Your behavior has shifted just like that. Oh, and by the way, since I'm doing a huge favor by coming all the way out to see you, you better have some cash ready for me to compensate for my troubles. You owe me big time, right? I'll meet you next weekend at the bus up near your dump. We can go to a cafe together, but you'll have to cough up $200 for that. And since I'll have to endure your boring chatter, that'll be another $500. Thank you very much. What did you just say? It's been ages since you've laid eyes on your precious little girl, so you should be grateful that I'm even willing to spend time with you. Besides, you're the wife of a rich doctor now, right? You should have more money than you know what to do with. What? You do realize that I'm the daughter of a famous woman now, right? So, paying me to hang out with you is the standard these days. And honestly, $700 is a bargain, so you should be jumping with joy that you're finally getting a chance to see your daughter after that pathetic divorce. Maybe, starting next week, you can send me $500 every month to keep me happy. Shut the hell up, you stupid loser. What? I've been silent this whole time, listening to your crap, thinking, What the hell, you? How long have you been living like a parasite? I can tell you have no clue yourself, but do you think that it's okay to talk to the woman who gave you life like that? I can't stand to hear you disrespect her anymore. What is this? You're not my mom, are you? I don't want to deal with someone who I have no connection with. I'm a very important family member to Jaden. So I'm not some stranger, but someone who has a lot to say about what's going on here. 
I'm not going to let you insult her like that anymore. So I'll be the one talking to you from now on. Huh? You said you're some kind of family to her? So are you the guy she married recently? I'm her new husband's son. Actually, I'm the son of the doctor that Jaden married. What? The man she married his son with him? My mom died a long time ago in a car crash. So these last few years I've only had a dad. I don't even really remember what it was like having a mother until she came into my life. She's so kind to me and I love thinking of her as my new mother because she cares for me so much. We have a whole new family now together and I don't want you to ruin it anymore. You can go ahead and get lost and stop trying to make my mom relive the nightmare of the time when she had a baby. Wait, what the hell? You're nothing but some tag-along kid. You loser. I'm her real daughter and she has no place to love someone like you. Now, you let me see my mother because she's dying to see me. All you are is a motherless boy who is worthless compared to someone like me with two mothers. Shut the hell up. And you're a freaking brat who is still acting like she needs her mother's nipple to suck on. All you are to her is a bad memory. And she doesn't even call you her real daughter anymore, you freak. What was that? That woman who birthed you? doesn't want to meet you anymore. So get lost. That's her answer. So leave her and the rest of her family alone. You are not going to be meeting with her. And you sure as hell aren't going to be getting any money out of her either. If you try, you might be a high schooler, but from what we've all seen, you need to be put back in preschool. What is wrong with you? You just came out of nowhere and are already hurting my feelings. And you deserve to have your feelings hurt. Waste of life. You're not the one that had to be kicked out of the house long ago, so stop whining like you're such a victim. If you want a recommendation on what to do with all this time you have in your hands that you put into making fun of my mom, then go use it to take some more lessons in handwriting. The comment you wrote on her invitation looks like a second grader wrote it, but even that would be made fun of as second graders now, so I'll say that you write like a one month old. Huh? What? What is actually wrong with you? You're really pissing me off now. Who do you think you are? I'm not going to continue talking to you if this is how you're going to treat a cute little girl like me. I'm sorry, but I'm a high schooler talking to a bratty preschooler about how to behave. And if you want to know where I go to school, it's Jefferson High School, and I'm a senior there. My name is Rohan Millington. There, you know who I am now. If you have a problem with me, come to my school and pick a fight with me then. What? Jefferson High School and your last name is Millington? I go to the same school and I'm a freshman. Then I know you. What? You know about me? I go to the same school and know all about you. You might think of me as a preschooler, but I'm seriously in the same school as you. And I can prove it to you the next time we have school. I even have a gym class with you and everything. What? You're at the same school as me. And also, you might have gotten one or two love letters from me before. What? I was a bit too embarrassed about it to write my name on them, but they were all from me. But I never thought you'd become my mom's new son. This is like one of those sexy drama stories, right? It's like you and I are meant to be together forever then, right? Now that I think about it, I could barely read most of those letters you wrote. So those were all meant to be love letters? I just thought some elementary schooler was putting those in my locker somehow. And I just threw them all away because I couldn't tell what they even said. I seriously thought some younger kid's sibling was putting those letters into my locker by accident or something. What? Calling my hand writing that bad is really mean. I put a lot of time into writing all of those for you. But come on, your handwriting is horrendous. You... you really think it's that bad? Well, I'm really shocked now. I never thought something like this would ever happen to me. Well, that's alright, because now I have the perfect opportunity to tell you that I hate your guts. So please stop putting those crappy letters into my locker. There's your answer, by the way. You are kidding, right? Hold on, something like this should not be happening to me. The only thing that shouldn't be happening is someone your age acting like a baby. Now don't you ever talk to my mom or me again. How could you do this to me? How could you become Rohan's mom without telling me anything? 
I've been dreaming of him for so long, waiting for him to look at me. But you've destroyed everything. You've stolen him from me. Don't be ridiculous, Luciana. How was I supposed to know that you had a crush on him? How was I supposed to know that you were in the same high school as him? You've cut me off for the past three years. You've never told me anything about your life. That's because you don't care about me and never did. You only care about yourself and your new family. I started going to Jefferson last year, right after Dad left you for a woman I introduced him to. She was the one who suggested that I go there. She said it would make me a better person, a more beautiful person like her. Jefferson High? The elite private school? The ones where all the rich and spoiled kids go? I can't believe you're one of them now. How did you even get in there? It doesn't matter anymore. It's all over now. Because of you and Rohan, I had to leave that school. I have no friends there. No one understands me. I was supposed to get a new car this spring and drive to school with him and be happy. But you took that away from me, too. A new car? What for? You live so close to the school, you can walk there in ten minutes. You don't need a car. You don't need anything. You don't get it, do you? My new mom hates me. She doesn't want me around. She said that since Dad brought me to his family, she has no obligation to take care of me. She wants me to have a car so that I can be independent, so that I can get out of her sight. She wants me to go to that school so that I can learn to fend for myself. She even wants me to get a job and earn my own money. Wow, she sounds like a real piece of work. The daughter of a CEO, huh? My life is a nightmare, Mom. Dad doesn't even care about me either. He's happy that I'm getting a car so that he doesn't have to deal with me. He doesn't care that I'm miserable, that I'm lonely, that I'm heartbroken. He doesn't care that I don't want to go to school anymore. He just tells me to grow up and get out of his house. Really? Yes, really. I beg him to let me switch to a public school to get away from Jefferson, to get away from you and Rohan. But he said no, he said it's too late, he said he already paid for my tuition. He's so cruel. He's so selfish. I just want to quit school and stay at home with my new mom and her money. Hmm, I see. Well, I'm not going to comment on that. You're old enough to face the consequences of your actions, Luciana. This is the time to grow up and be a young adult. What? Don't act so surprised, Luciana. You're the one who betrayed me, who kicked me out of the house, who made your dad divorce me, and you don't see me giving up, do you? Now, it's your turn to feel the pressure, Luciana. But I... Do you know what it's like to be alone? To be hated? To be rejected? Do you know how it feels to want to go back to your dad's, but have him slam the door in your face? It's a cold, cold world, Luciana. I know. Because I've been there. I've been there when I was your mother. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry for everything. I know how you felt now, and I agree it's horrible. Maybe we can start over. Maybe we can see each other again. I won't ask you for any money. I promise. I just want to see my mom. I just want you to listen to me. To hear me out. I'm sorry, Luciana. I can't do that. How can you say that? How can you reject me like this? You are my mother. You're supposed to love me. I used to love you, Luciana. I used to love you more than anything in the world. But you broke my heart. You betrayed me. You pushed me out of your life. No, no, that's not true. You're still my mother. You're still my family. Family? What family? You chose your new family over me. You chose your new mom and your new dad, and your new school. You left me alone. You left me with nothing. Mom, please, don't do this. Don't shut me out. I need you. I miss you. It's too late to say that you need me, that you miss me. You made your choice, and you have to live with it. I have nothing more to say to you, so don't bother me anymore. Have a nice life. Luciana got the car from her wicked stepmother, but it was a curse, not a gift. She had to fend for herself in a world that didn't care about her. She lost her joy, her friends, her love. She wandered the halls of the school like a ghost, with no one to talk to, no one to comfort her.
As for my ex-husband, I thought he would be happy with his new wife, the CEO's daughter. I thought they would enjoy their wealth and their freedom from Luciana. But I was wrong. She was a greedy and spoiled woman who wasted all their money on her whims and fancies. Soon, they had nothing left, and her parents refused to help them. They ended up in a rundown house, where they fought and screamed every day. Their lives became a living hell. And the rumors? Ugh, the rumors. They spread like wildfire, everywhere. They said that my ex had thrown his wife out of the house, that Luciana had gone mad and was locked up in an asylum, that he was facing a scandal at work, and more. He had lost everything, just like Luciana, and I couldn't help but feel a little satisfied. 